this tree doesn't get enough attention here. This is a Fuji. And right now it's about, I'm going to say about a foot and a half tall. I got these trees from online. And this one here is a, uh, this one here is a, a Honeycrisp. It's, it's a faster grower, I think, because each time I put it in the ground next to any tree that was one of my apple trees, it shot up when the rest of them was kind of trying to figure out what they're going to do. So this right here is, I mean, this is a Fuji. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to tell you, this is one, in my opinion, of course, one of the finest apple trees I have ever eaten, period. Then comes in second is this honey crisp. Now, let me tell you a little story about this. This is a Fuji. A young lady started a job, and we talked a little bit about gardening. Then uh, uh, she said, I'll bring you some apples tomorrow. And I tasted this apple. And I said, oh my God, what is this apple? That's what I said to her. She thought I was insane. I said, what is this? She said, ah, uh, it's called a Fuji. Please get your hands off of me. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. So, at any rate, uh, she, she, she gave me the apple. I immediately got online, immediately got online to my contact online, the store that I deal with on a regular. And I said, listen, tell me, how could I get that Fuji? And she said, oh, we have them. They're $9 a piece, and uh, we can ship it out to you in about two to three weeks. That's okay. And in my garden, um, three of them went. Three trees. This right here, of course, is the um, honey crisp, and it's a beautiful tree. Absolutely incredible. All right, let's so got that out of my system. And of course, that's the one that one of the ones that started it all. This is the Granny Smith. I topped it off there because all my trees are going to be manageable. I, I absolutely have to have that. This one's been in the ground here. This will be a third year coming up 2014 third year beautiful trees easy to care for and if you want to know where to get these trees at all you got to do is leave a comment and I will be more more than help uh, helpful to get you started and if you need any advice or anything like that please hit me up I am the person who understands what it's like to get started or try to get started and have all these people giving you different advice and all I'm telling you, majority of them, not all of them, but majority of them telling you, spend money, spend money, spend money, buy this fertilizer, buy this mycorrhizae, buy this, and, and you don't need all of that. Now I learned, you take a tree like this, you put it in the ground, you don't tamp it in, you water it in real thorough, and you don't touch it until it starts breaking leaves. And once it starts breaking leaves, then you try to find an organic, if you have to, organic uh, fertilizer. Me, this is organic for me, these wood chips. That's what I use. I'm not buying fertilizer. This is the best fertilizer right here. Once the worms come into this area and start feeding these trees that rich, fertile, uh, free fertilizer that they, that they excrete from their backsides, that's the best fertilizer for these plants. Now, when I build my plants in the spring, I use this stuff. It's gonna be a long time for this breakdown. I think about four more months. Four more months, excuse me. Those are leaves. I plan on getting some more this year. These here, this here is also um, quality fertilizer. Like I said, this is nothing but leaves. And it's not broken down the way I want them yet. This is gonna be here another four months before I touch it. Before I touch it, about four more months. Because it's still too hot. And I'm gonna tell you, you put your seedlings into this, they're gonna know what to do. Now over here, <clears throat> I'm gonna do a 50-50 mix. I'm telling you my secrets now. I'm gonna do a 50-50 mix of this compost and this worm casting for my started seedlings this year. So I will get a jump right out the gate where most people be going into um, stores to buy topsoil or plant starter, quote unquote, or garbage I call it. You put your plants in it, they got a little quick starter fertilizer in there, you put them in there, they'll get them up and growing, and then your plants will start starving after about two months. I don't like that. I put this stuff in here. It's slow release, it's what the plant needs, it's natural, 
It's no chemicals. It's no man-made steroids or nothing in it. This is the good stuff. This got to break down, of course. Like I said, another four months. Then this here is the richest fertilizer on earth. Inside of these are worm castings. Um, this is a new. These are all new bins. See here. I just threw this in there. It, it's it's too much, but it's winter time, so I'm gonna let them feed up, and, and they'll be fine in this. And I'm gonna cover this whole area here with either a tarp or I'm gonna cover it with uh, leaf. I got my worms through last year by just covering all of these containers with uh, leaves, big piles of leaves, and that helped every last one of my worm bins stay alive. I will survive. There's another one there. See. And they're nothing but leaves, and they will make the richest compost on the planet. You don't have to, all you got to do is stop, stop being, stop, when you hear the word, go buy this, you got to say, wait a minute, do the natural plants go buy stuff in the woods, in the forests? No, they don't.